This is the SoCal Update. I'm Kara Santa Maria. Low income tenants find themselves trapped in unsafe conditions that the county is failing to regulate. It's Monday, July 26th. As LA County continues the fight against COVID 19, housing advocates say it's losing a different war the fight against slum housing. Many tenants are stuck in unacceptable conditions, and they say the county isn't holding landlords accountable. KPCC's David Wagner visited one apartment complex in East Compton that activists say highlights the need for reform. So David, what'd you find there? Well, one of the tenants there told me for years she and her kids have been living with cockroaches, holes in the walls, and lack of hot water. I went out and saw some of those problems myself. And in fact, an LA County public health inspector went out and inspected her unit in November, citing the landlord for a long list of problems. But eight months later, those issues are still not fixed. Tenant organizations point to cases like this to argue that the county's code enforcement system is broken. They say it's leaving low-income tenants in these bad conditions if they can't afford to move. So what sorts of reforms are tenants hoping to see? Well, they say the county should centralize code enforcement under one department. Right now, that responsibility for making sure that apartments are safe and habitable, it's spread between multiple departments. And, you know, housing advocates say in the worst cases, what the county really needs is a way to hold landlords accountable um, if they don't make repairs. They say they should withhold rent payments from these landlords until they make those repairs. And that would be similar to a program that's already up and running in the city of L.A., We'll have to wait and see if any of these reforms are taken up by county leaders. You know, I reached out to Supervisor Holly Mitchell, whose district includes East Compton, and she told me that this case does indicate a need to strengthen the county's system for code enforcement. Thanks so much, David. Thank you.